Welcome, thank you for watching. This is the 2018 Sport 2.0 Accord. Um, very um, in, well anticipated. Um, it took a long time before the 1.5 came in. Um, so it doesn't disappoint. So pretty nice. So I did turn on the high beams in the, for the headlights here. Assuming that you can see uh, the blue part of the headlight and the yellow part of the light headlight, which is uh, pretty nice. I accidentally turned off the fog light, but you get the LED fog light there, and then LED over here for the headlight and halogen for your eyes. So if you can see, it is pretty bright. And that's a, uh, a cloudy day. Um, the nice thing with the sport, people are gonna be always able to recognize the sport. It's gonna be that black chrome finish. And then, then that's your regular chrome. So the regular one would have that type of color on the regular chrome portion yes the sport does come with honda sensing feature so it is standard um, even on the manual so on the manual you get the adaptive cruise control and the lane keeping assist with the full collision braking um, they're all gonna be pedestrian friendly so that means it's gonna be soft here um, not soft like it would be a quality issue but soft enough to reduce uh, the impact if unfortunate hitting a pedestrian here so the hood is also flexible too to allow the absorption of the shock uh, sport also gets a really nice wheel uh, the one thing uh, that the sport didn't come in with is the sunroof so when you get the 2.0 T, you get a sunroof with that uh, vehicle. And the other thing you do get is remote start. So the 2.0 has remote start. So it, it's basically like an EX model, but has a lot more nicer feature. And to kind of show you the horsepower on this car, it's 252 horsepower. It's a 2.0 engine. is the same engine as in the Civic Type R uh, detune. So, and you have the 10 speed transmission, 10 speed automatic. So, uh, basically, the 2.0 is really aggressive, very uh, powerful engine, and because it, it actually um, produce a lot of torque at a lower RPM all the way uh, to a higher RPM. So it maintained that torque versus having to work up to that torque. So the torque is uh, under 200, 270 um, foot pound of torque. And you have the badging for the sport here uh, 2.0 T really nice light on the camera it looks like this uh, orange but it's actually red um, here I wish it would give us true color but it didn't so we've seen that cap this gas cap um, so the back seat here is actually a lot bigger than the regular sport, the older sport, um, not the regular one. Uh, they, they all have the same seating surface um, on all the 18s, but the 17 gets, uh, 17 had a smaller back seat. I mean, as far as this shorter, uh, the front seat is actually five inches taller and two inches taller on the back. It's a lot more comfort that's because the keys is on me and uh and i'm walking with it so 
so the sport is it is pretty nice a lot of space still still has uh, the really nice feature on here um, the next one up from the sport is gonna be an EXL 2.0 and all you, what you get is really nice also you get leather seats um, which is nicer to clean uh, for a family sedan um, you're gonna have um, it's gonna be your main car so you need to be able to clean it uh, easily and not leave any uh, stain so this is uh, kind of a leather and then cloth here um, black headliner so only the sports gonna have this type of seat and the EXL then gets the leather seat and then auto damming mirrors on the EXL now we're gonna go inside the vehicle and uh, discuss some of the features there it's a really sharp looking really nice so if I walk back a little bit all right uh, so we're gonna discuss about the inside uh, in the vehicle here um, as we start we're gonna discuss backup camera also we're gonna discuss um, what's the difference between the old sport and the EX um, even on the older on the, on the old sport and the current sport and the EX uh, difference with um, the EX only had the 1.5 and you won't get an EX with the 2.0 so uh, this sport replaces the EX uh, for the next engine upgrade so you get in the car you get in here you can see you got a little animation for the car really nice um, right now it's in the sport mode you have the uh, boost gauge there if you press the sport button which is there then it goes down to a regular gauge. Um, there's also a way to activate it on here for the regular gauge. Uh, that way when you do press home and change to here, you still have your RPM gauge and we'll have that information in the middle. So that is your choice. Now, uh, let's discuss what's the difference in the older sport. So, the newer sport gets that really nice cage there, like multiple information uh, display right on here. Um, you can change to, that's my favorite one, because it can detect another car in front of you and then tell you how many yards. Um, you have one thing that none of the older Accord had is a traffic sign detection. It actually uses the camera over here, reads it and then process it and puts it in here as it's reading it through. I saw it happen, it was amazing that how they do that um, and some of them will actually show you that uh, traffic sign right there that's just there that way you can change to a different screen I'm expecting it the this uh, driver attention level so coming back to this sport difference between the older one um, you had a screen there on the old sport and then uh, uh, analog buttons there you did were able to do trip computer um, and trip history um, backup camera um, on here just on the older one um, so 
the other one did have the tri view camera that has the tri view camera to show i'm gonna do the reverse so wide view the other one had that at least uh uh, 17 and 16 but before that you didn't have that until you hit have navigation on your vehicle uh, and your normal screen straight down uh, the new thing that's added is a rear traffic rear cross traffic monitoring which um, is gonna be a nice feature to have is gonna warn you as cars coming it can be very far um into into that sensor spot so it can be all the way over there and then i'll kind of show you the direction of travel uh, from here so that's really nice feature that they add um so audio trip computer and clock and wallpaper so they updated the pictures that you can put on your wallpaper on here so that's one of them um and you still can see and see whatever audio whatever audio you would have here xm radio that's what's playing so if you click on here it'll give you the source button there and then you can choose whichever button you want you can those are customizable you can have whatever button you like on there um you could change this to a um, trip computer if you wanted that fm instead of audio it's a bluetooth audio um so that's your quick little tab you can change however you like it there um i think the options you have i would definitely myself do smartphone connection over here um, you didn't have this type of screen on the 17. 18 or have them now. Um, the base model does it. It does have the layout screen, but does it have all that feature? Um, I do have a LX video on here, so definitely check it out to see the difference. Um, but me, I would put the smartphone connection maybe right here. Not so much Bluetooth or FM, FM, um, because as you press this button, you can change to whatever you want. So I would put something else over here myself. Uh, you could put, I would say, I would put a campus or maybe a USB. The auto is auto is audio. Um, it's just a little different than the other ones. Um, you probably use USB because you save uh, almost 2,000 songs there. So that's uh, pretty nice. Um, I think so. The smartphone connection is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, if you have an Apple phone, then you have Apple CarPlay automatically. If you have Android, you got the Android Auto automatically, depending on if there's a limitation on the cell phone but most android phone up to date would be able to uh, do android auto so that's pretty nice that means what that means to you um, is if you wanted a car with navigation and you have to say no to navigation because of uh, um, the price this one gives you the option of get your phone um, maps, like Apple Maps, or the Android is going to be Google, Google Maps, right on here. And now you don't need navigation on your car because you have it on your phone and you can connect it to reflect it on the screen. That's pretty cool. I um, think every car should be like that but uh, there's also a cost associated with it and that's why we rate feature on the smartphone connect as we discussed um heated seats which is really nice dual climate control you gotta love that one here i actually turn red and blue 
uh, the shifter button shifter so that is pretty nice um, I just did the reverse for you already there you go there's a rear cross traffic monitoring and um, then you have the drive when you drive you see D there and then you press actually this one you don't do that uh, there's a sport if you press it then you get the sport um, also econ and that is pretty nice and then now coming to parking brake lights up when it's on press to release brake hold looks like that uh, basically brake hold is a very nice feature it's uh, think about drive through traffic light um, you know, stopping at a hill as long you can't come to a complete stop and you activate the feature with your seat belt on it's gonna hold the brake for you so all you have to do is just release the brake pedal um, and it'll hold the brake for you so your brake light would stay on so people can see you um, you're stopped and basically you're, as you were holding the brake so that kind of reflects that portion but that's um so that was the presentation for the accord sport which is really nice definitely check out my other videos a lot of the features is actually reflecting any of other features I haven't discussed here just to keep the video a little shorter thank you again if you like the video do the like a comment for any questions or any video you would like to see I'll be happy to do those for you and also share uh, just to help grow my channel thank you you have a nice day and uh, thank you for watching bye bye